Today's video is going to be a pretty quick one because this feature is so good and so awesome that I actually want you to spend less time watching this video and more time trying this feature out. A few days ago, Kittle just released a quick select and download feature and I'm going to show you how to use it and explain a little bit about how it saved me a ton of time. So this is one of the shirts that I did in my most recent typography t-shirts video, which you can watch here if you would like to. Just a little design mocked up. And let's say, for instance, I wanted to take this little guy and download him. Well, in the past, back in the old days, I'd have to, you know, drag him over and maybe create an artboard for it and then, you know, go back and then select my guy again and size it up. And then I would have to select my artboard, go over here to download and click my file type and my dimensions, blah, 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 blah. That's really, really just long and drawn out in today's standards but now what you can actually do is select on individual elements and in this little hot bar right here you're going to see download selection i know crazy so what you're going to do is click that and then you're going to get some options here so you can select svg which clearly is going to omit the size category because SVGs are vector and you can scale them without pixel loss and so you don't really need to choose size doesn't really matter right but the fact that you can download SVGs individually like this is a huge win. But say, for instance, for some reason, you wanted to have a PNG, something that you're uploading this to doesn't support a vector format or SVG or EPS. You can click on PNG and then boom, you'll have your size options. You can either one times, two times or three times the size of this. And this is going to be dependent upon how big that element is on the artboard. So my artboard is 4,000 by 5,000 pixels. And so what I'm selecting is the amount of pixels that this takes up on the artboard. And another little handy little key trick that I'll show you is over here. This actually shows you the dimensions of whatever you've selected. This also used to not be there. It is relatively new. I don't really know when it came out. I just logged in one day and it was there and I was like, dang, that's super helpful. But say, for instance, you need a PNG and you know, oh, I'm going to print this and 600 by 800 pixels is not going to be nearly enough. You could just pull it over to the side, size it up, and now it's 2,000 by 3,000 pixels. And then you can do your quick select PNG and then do your size option. Or if you know that what you want to download needs to be PNG or JPEG, I wouldn't stress yourself doing the math, but you could literally click two times the size. And so this is going to be roughly 1300 by 1600. That's the best that I've ever been at math. Or three times. Eight, eight, 1950 by 2400. Cool. And this doesn't only work on vector elements. See, same here with this picture. I can do the same thing. Quick select and download i can do one times two times or three times the size of this and it's still all the normal download selection formats png jpeg svg and pdf you have all of them right there this just saves so much time i have literally been using kittle as a background remover and element download tool the past couple weeks with the merch collection that i'm working on it's been so helpful versus photoshop where i literally have to like pull it in and then I have to remove the background and then I have to go into the layers panel and then select that layer and then right click and then click export layer as and then it brings up another window and then I have it's just a whole load this is way faster and way easier so a question that you might be having is how does that work with multiple selections or groups well I'm going to tell you so let's say that I have these three individual text boxes if I click and select all three of these and they're not grouped not grouped they're not grouped together you have not yet clicked command G and they are still independent from each other if I go and I download this PNG size 1 SVG whatever I probably do SVG and I download this it is going to download as three separate files in a zip file for you so you can just go to your downloads open that zip file open the folder boom you've got your three individual svg components right there ready to go for you and this is super helpful if you want to download multiple svg elements or multiple png or jpeg whatever multiple elements all at the same time just click all 80 of them suckers and then click download and then boom they're all in one folder for you this is a massive time saver right so if you're clicking one thing and downloading it 
that saved you a couple seconds, right? But if you span that over 80, 90, 100 selections, and maybe even over an entire design session, this is going to save you hours. Okay, so that's individual selections. What if I wanted to download this as one piece? Well, so I would just select all three of these holding shift, command G, group them. Now they're grouped together. When I select them, I'm going to download that whatever format you would like, and then it's going to go into your downloads folder as one piece. So if I downloaded this as an SVG, it's going to be one SVG file with all three of these text boxes that basically the entire group is going to be all together. PNG, JPEG, PDF, whatever you've downloaded it as, it's going to be one whole unit together. And this is super helpful, right? You know, for instance, if I was doing this as a t-shirt and I wanted to do different colors, like that was going to be red, and then my little coffee cup guy down here was going to be blue, you know, I'm going to change my colors here. And then so now I've got three different colors. And if you're going to go screen print this, they're going to want three different files. They're going to want the layers, right? So I can download this guy and then I can link these two together, download that selection as one piece, and then I can download this as one piece as well. Again, this does work with any element in your project that's text, AI generated art, any of the elements, any of the pictures from the images panel, basically anything that you can put in your canvas or on your artboard, you can select and download that individual file without having to create a whole nother artboard and then download that single thing on the artboard. It's just way easier. Now, this is just way better. I promise. You may not have even thought about this being a thing, but now that you have it, I promise it's going to change your life. This has completely changed my workflow just entirely. Well, that is all for today. Make sure to show Kittle some love down in the comments. If you love this feature, if you've been waiting for this feature specifically, show us some love. Let us know down below. Also, let us know any other types of features that we may not have thought of. We read every comment. We respond to almost every comment. And so we will definitely see it. Also, take just one second and like this video for me. Just hit that like button. Just do it. It helps me and Drew and Duda out a ton. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any Kittle news, updates, features, design videos, anything that we have going on over here. I mean, imagine six months goes by. You had not seen this video. Now you are watching it. And you could have been using this feature for six months. That's what's going to happen if you don't subscribe to the channel. You're going to miss it. You're going to be out of the loop. How would anybody ever know? Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.